Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Spyro Year of the Dragon with me, Fullpix Inferno91, and we're gonna go into Sheila's Alp. Thanks again, Spyro. Now I have to find out what that nasty sorceress has done to my home while I was locked up. We are playing as Sheila. Hiya, Sheila. Hiya, Sheila. While you are gone, a bunch of Rhinox kicked us out of our houses. It's okay, though. Bobby, Pete, and I are working on a clever plan to take them back. Hiya, Sheila. I love the way he says that. It's ace. Now, what I find really weird about controlling Sheila is she hops. She hops everywhere. It's like, don't fall over. I'm really scared of like jumping off somewhere because she hops. She double jumps too. She double jumps. The double jump. The breaking the laws of physics. God. Right, there's in each world, in each home world that we come to, we oh god. You can get up really steep cliffs like this one with your double jump. Press the X button to jump and I just did it, yeah. When you hit the ground. Oh, that's a different kind of double jump. Like if we do it here. We jump really high in the air. Well, like I was saying, we have in the four main worlds, each level, that's a 25 gem, each level will contain a different level like this, where you don't control Spyro, you control another, another character. And none of them particularly control very well. Sheila's probably the easiest to control out of the four. The second guy is pretty easy too, but the third guy is just impossible. <laughs> Here, I was saving this to make an omelette, but I think you deserve it more. You, you know, if you want to save the world, here you go. I, you know. Hi, Ruby. How you doing? Oh, a little wave. I liked it. What bothers me is that the fairy said, Oh, the eggs are too high heavy. We couldn't carry them back. Well, why don't you just teleport them like, like it looked like you did then? I mean, that doesn't make any sense. Just no. Right, what have you got to say? Rhinox, I bet. And a big moose. There's a moose in my house. Gonna kick him in the face. Well, let's look up here because it looks like there's some rocks up here. Lead into a hidden area with another moose. But more importantly, gems. Because this is what we want. This is the object of this level. Mainly because I think there is. There's only like three eggs, four eggs in this level. These levels are quite short, so I think it's the gems that are more important, personally. So we just have to kick the shit out of some Rhinox with pickaxes. Violent. And just circle around them continuously, don't know. So it looks like we have another rock thing up here. And we have to break that rock in front of that house there as well to get the next egg. Because I have played this game far too much and know exactly where all the eggs are, so... Who needs a walk through when you have the mind? Basically. Oops, missed that. Actually, I'd like a lot of suggestions actually as to what game to game to let's play, because I struggled a lot to pick this game. I mean I have a lot of games, but I struggled, really struggled to think of one to do. I mean it's almost an unlimited supply. When I mean limited, I mean 170. Not quite there. But um yeah, just suggestions, please, because this is really hard to figure out. Hey, Sheila, let's play a joke. Take this egg and smash it on Billy's house, okay? I need to get him back for the last time he butted me off the cliff. They sound German. Like you, Luke, if you're watching. This is a good, this is a good chance, yeah. If you, hi, Jenny. If you're not watching, then, then I can point it out to you. Aha. Seven eggs. The the water world. Fifteen eggs. Fourteen eggs. Oh shit! Whoa! I didn't see you there. Pay attention. Smash these vases up. Now these little mushroom things here are houses, which will endlessly respawn Rhinox unless so you smash Rhinox them. have taken over. There'll be no stopping them unless we can smash the huts. The huts are too big to smash for your kick attacks, so though. Try using your stomp attack to smash them instead. I'll confuse them with taunting while you stomp the huts, okay? You remember how to stomp, don't you? Just jump, then press the triangle button in the air. Oh. Yep, yeah, right. Let's this is what, what I was saying. These huts 
They'll endlessly respawn, Rhinox. If you keep killing them, they'll just come back. Come back, you all oh, fucking hell. Yeah, she's really hard to attack with for some reason. She just like circles everything. And the attack's pretty delayed as well. It's pretty shit. If we come up here, we got this. So these are extra lives if I didn't explain that already. Listen, oh no, don't fall off! Oh, I thought I was down then. I thought I was gone. I thought I was gone. I thought I'd lost a life. In level one. Oh, fuck off! I can't be doing with you! Sparks, please, pick up my gem. You get really lazy in this game, like picking up gems. Sparks will automatically go over and get them for you if you're a certain distance away. Like, like Om Nom. But once you lose sparks, it's, it's like I have to walk all the way over there and pick up the gem myself. Uh, no. Sparks, get back here and do it for me, lackey. Basically. Oh god, my face is itching again. No, there's a Rhinox approaching. But we smashed all the houses now, so we can get on to destroying the Rhinox. Picking up the last gems. Oh no, quick, move out the way. That's how you tackle this level. There's also some gems in a high place, if you can see in the top right hand corner. Those look like, looks like a pair of balls. We can go up there and get some more gems in a bit. Oh, would you come back here? God, these controls are so shit. Wait, you. There's a gem here. That's oh, good. I didn't know whether that was a gem or a tiny animal. Well, there goes the uh, the goat. Just making sure there's no more gems around here. And let's let's go over here. Thanks for the help, Sheila. You can have this egg I found in my house. Oh, you'll never find them, Spyro. You'll never find these eggs. I'm just hiding them in people's houses. 3 three eggs. Let's see, not many. Well, we don't. Oh. If you ever forget how to control a character or v Shut up. She's just useless information. You're worse than bloody Navi. Navi, you're worse. That's saying something. So we have a bunch of gems in here. You pick them up, please, Sparks. That's your job. Your job. And you don't do it properly. So, and then there's another place as well, just on the opposite side of the wall, and that should be all the gems, and that should be this level. Basically. Simple level to start off with. And hopefully this is the last one. <laughs> Otherwise I don't know, I'm gonna stop it. Om nom all the gems! Oh, you bitch! You bitch! Oh, one. I'm guessing it's one. Let's just have- Oh, it's there! It's there! Okay, 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 okay. That does it. We did it. We completed this level. So let's go back. Cascade of gems! Cascade of gems! The most satisfying thing in the world. Right, so I'll leave it at that for this. It's a short level. Short. Short. What's the word? Episode! It's a short episode, but we'll leave it here for now. And next time on Let's Play Starry of the Dragon, we will go into Sunny Villa. So, which is this one here. So, I'll see you then, guys.